my apologies. I was in a world of my own there. Let me just pop this away. Okay, I can see you have some books. Are we checking them in or checking them out? Great. Right, if I can just get you to come pop them here for me. Thank you. That's it. That's great. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you. Right. Are you already a member here? You are. Perfect. Can I just take your name? And your date of birth. Can you confirm your first line of your address and your postcode? Thank you. Excellent. So, I see you, you've only been a member here for a month. How are you finding it? Good. And it appears you've only had one book so far. And how was that for you? Oh, wonderful. That's great. Well, I see you used our special post box service to drop it off. Wonderful. Was that easy enough for you? Good. So then, we are checking out some books today. So let me have a little look what we have. So we have Stephen King, Wizard and Glass, The Dark Tower. Now, I've not read this all myself, but I must say, Stephen King has a huge section of books here, and they are very, very good. Hmm. So, do you like a good fantasy book? Yeah. It's a very thick book. So. So you have two weeks on these books, but if you do need a little bit more time, please just contact and we'll be able to sort that out for you. Alright. Yeah, that's right. a bag with you. Oh, perfect. That's good then. Put that there for you. Okay. Right, what do we have next? Well, I see you have a classic here. I do like a little bit of Harry Potter. Have you not read these before? Oh. Well, you're definitely missing out. 
I see you've read the first three books, is that right? Okay, just a few more to go then. I do like this version as well, the hardback, the original ones. They do have several different ones now, but I do like the original books. How did you like the first three? Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Total escapism. It's brilliant. Have you seen the movies? Oh, you have. Okay. Oh, but only recently. Oh, and you've been inspired to read the books. What do you prefer so far? Yeah, the books. Yeah, I do agree with you there. Oh, wonderful. So this one is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Hmm. Let me just check this one. Are you quite a quick reader or? Ah, you are. So once you get into a book, you really go into a book. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? Yes, the last book. Are you doing a little bit of history? Sounds very interesting. How's that going? Oh, good. So we have History of Britain, Kings and Queens. It's a very good book. definitely help you with your studies. Good. I do like the illustration in this book. It's very good. So it covers the monarchy, the rise of the kings, the Normans. Then we have Stuarts, Lancaster and York, the Tudor and Stuarts, the Stuarts, the Handorians and the Windsors, and the Plantagenet. Balliol and Bruce. Hmm, it's very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. So, let me pop that in.
Okay, so we have your King and Queen book. You have the Harry Potter Goblet of Fire. And you also have the Stephen King Wizard and the Glass, the Dark Tower. Those all right for you? Perfect. So you get two weeks on those from today. Okay, but like I say, if you do need an extension, please just contact us, all right? Yeah, unless we start having a waiting list, then we would have to say, you know, please, can you bring that back? Yeah, I mean, at the moment, we don't really have a waiting list for anything, so it's going all right. Yeah, unfortunately, there's just not many people reading nowadays. And if they are, they're on tablets. Yeah, it's a shame, really. I mean, I love a good book. Yeah. That's what happens, I suppose. I mean, it's great that some are reading, but they're sitting in front of their phone or tablet or something like that. Or they're listening to it and that. Which is, you know, it's great, but I do like a good book. Yeah, well, we do actually a book club here. Yeah, that's right. So I actually run the book club. Yes, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think I got some information here actually. Well, I should have. write it down for me. Okay. So, book club. And that's with myself. All right. That's Nicola. So we meet here on a Thursday at 6.30. All right, and we're here for a couple of hours, so we go around half past eight, sometimes nine o'clock. All right. And now I do have to mention that we do have a payment for the Buck Club, and that is just five pounds. All right, so that would be five pounds a week. That's right, to cover the cost of the library, the books, and just different things like that, really, and time. Yeah, that's right. So the library actually shuts around six o'clock. So we are here, and it's just us and a couple of the other members of staff around. At the moment, I think we have about 12 of us. Yeah, that's right, 12 people. Okay. So, put that down. Five pounds a week. Yeah, so basically, if you don't come, we don't obviously take payment. All right, so we can take cash or... You can set up a direct debit, but some people don't like to do that, especially if they are not going to come every week or in case something comes up. But if a payment was ever taken out and you didn't turn up, then we would obviously give you a refund. But personally, it's probably better to either to pay the cash or with a debit or credit card when you actually attend. Okay, yeah, it's, it's probably a lot better just in case. Okay, so cash or card. We read in wide range of books, yeah, all sorts of different ones, different genres, and we kind of have a discussion on what we want to read next and things like that, and we kind of take it in turns to read a little bit out the book, 
and then we kind of have a chat and we discuss the book and the things that are going on and our thoughts and opinions and things like that. Does that sound something that might interest you? Okay. Oh, that's really good. You'll definitely get on. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Well, we've just actually finished the book, so we're due to start a new one. That's correct. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. We are going to be choosing this week. I've asked everybody to go away and have a think about what we, you know, want to read next. If we want to do a drama, a romantic comedy or horror related psychological thriller or something like that. Or a love story. I don't know. So get to see on Thursday. If you would like to come this Thursday, that would be nice. I can introduce you to the group and, you know, totally up to you, no pressure. All right, absolutely no pressure, but it would be lovely to see you. All right, you can just come and have a little, see what goes on. And the first session I won't be charging you for anyway, okay? It's just like an induction, see if you like it. Okay, so I'll pop that there for you. First class will be free of charge. We do that just so, you know, it's a little taster. See what you think. If it's something that, you know, you think you can get on with. The group are absolutely wonderful. You'll get on with them. It's funny. You know, we have chats about things and... You get on that well, sometimes we meet up and have a coffee and things like that as well. Yeah, it's really nice. Exactly, exactly. It's a social, it's, you know, mixing, getting out, and a lot of times, you know, busy moms such as myself, or, you know, single people, or people with kids, no kids, and they just want to mingle. You know, it's such a great atmosphere and such a great group. Yeah, well, I'd love to have you there, but it's totally down to you. And if you come and you don't like it, then that's fine. No pressure. All right. So I'll give you that. I'll pop it there with your books. All right, but any questions on that, please just ask. All right. Okay. Right, so, yes, okay, we do, we do sell books here as well, okay, mm -hmm. oh, which, oh, okay, um, let me just have a look for you, is that the Peter Rabbit box, oh, how exciting. Quite heavy though. I take it you mean this. It's gorgeous. Now this is actually brand new. Okay, so it hasn't been read in the library and it hasn't been sold or anything like that. I sometimes like to get different books in and sell them, promote them and if I see nice little gift box, selection boxes like this, I like to get them as well. Especially at this time of year, you know, with Christmas on the way, it's a nice little gift for somebody. And I saw this when I visited the Beatrix Potter Museum. I just couldn't resist purchasing it. Yeah. And then, obviously, I got it at a trade price, and then I'm selling it here for the actual cost that they charge. So I'm not adding on any profit 
It's literally just what they charge. All right. So have you actually had a little look at this collection? Let me show you. How gorgeous does that look? Okay. The design's so cute. So let me just take a book out. How cute. It's beautiful, isn't it? So, this is the, the tale of Peter Rabbit. I used to love Peter Rabbit when I was little, you know. I would have loved something like this. Mm. So these are the original and authorised edition. Let me just show you a page or two. So we have a gorgeous picture and a little bit of writing. And you'll find that the writing is quite a good size in this book. And then you've got your cute little pictures. Yeah, it's really nice. The illustrations are wonderful. Now, my dears, said old Mrs. Rabbit one morning, you may go into the fields or down the lane but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. The next one. The tale of Squirrel Nutkin. They all have the same layout. But Nutkin sat upon a big flat rock and played nine pins with a crab apple. Hmm. Taylor of Gloucester. Mm, do you remember them? Yeah, me too. Out stepped a little live lady mouse and made a curtsy to the tailor. of Benjamin Bunny. Peter, said little Benjamin in a whisper, who has got your clothes? Peter replied, the scarecrow in Mr. McGregor's garden. <laughs> Yeah, I picked myself a box up and want to bring back here. Yeah, I've not properly looked at them yet though. The Tale of Two Bad Mice 
Hunka Munka has got the cradle. I can't really remember that. Hmm. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. <laughs> Look, so sweet. That's a pair of mittens belonging to Tabby Kitten. I only have to iron them. She washes them herself. <sighs> Reminds me of my childhood. Yeah. The good parts, you know. Mr. Jeremy Fisher. <laughs> but Mr. Jeremy liked getting his feet wet. Nobody ever scolded him, and he never caught a cold. Well, that's all right for some, hey? This one is Moppet. That's Moppet. Hmm. Cute, eh? Is that so? Indeed, said the gentleman with the sandy whiskers, looking curiously at Jemima. <laughs> I have a teddy of her. She's adorable. The tail of the Flopsy Bunnies said that the effect of eating too much lettuce is sophoric. Hmm, it's cute. The tale of Mrs. Tittlemouse. First she fell asleep in her chair. And then she went to bed. Will it ever be tidy again? said poor Mrs. Tittlemouse. <laughs> I can't remember Mrs. Tittlemouse. Can you? Mm. <laughs> the tale of Timmy Tiptoes. Then Timmy Tiptoes came out and went home with an umbrella. Oh, how adorable. The tale of Johnny Town Mouse. one person. Another place suits another person. For my part, I prefer to live in the country like Timmy Willie. Hmm. Can't really remember that one either, you know. So 
one slightly a little bit thicker. This is The Tale of Mr. Todd. <laughs> I have made many books about well-behaved people. Now, for a change, I'm going to make a story about two disagreeable people called Tommy Brook and Mr. Todd. <laughs> and far away she danced with Pingling Bland. <laughs> Pingling Bland. Never heard of Pingling Bland. No. Another thick one. The Tale of Samuel Whiskers or The Roly Poly Pudding. <laughs> Look at it little chunky thing. Tom kitten bit and spat and meowed and wriggled and the rolling pin went roly poly roly. Oh look what they did to the kitty cat. Poor thing. <laughs> so this next one is a little bit thinner. Back to the original size. The others. Tale of the pie and the patty pan. Hmm. Why shouldn't I rush along and put my pie into Ribby's oven when Ribby isn't there? came in crowds every day and bought quantities, especially the toffee customers. I guess I need to read the book for that to make sense, but... Hmm. Next one is a lot thicker. Tale of Little Pig Robinson. Robinson had the most peculiar adventures that ever happened to a pig. By the looks of it, he has a lot. This book's quite thick. It's a lot of writing in this one and black and white pictures, sketches, you know. Now we're going to little smaller ones now than the originals. We've got a fierce bad rabbit. The bad rabbit would like some carrot. He doesn't say please, he takes it. Wow. That's a mean rabbit. Miss Poppet. And because the mouse has teased Mrs. Poppet, Miss Poppet thinks she will tease the mouse. It's a very small book. Dapley's nursery rhymes. You know, the old woman who lived in the shoe and had so many children she didn't know what to do. <laughs> it's quite cool, isn't it? Hmm. 
ones. And the last one. Silly Parsley's Nursery Rhymes. We have a little garden, a garden of our own, and every day we have water there, the seeds that we have sown. Ooh, wonderful. Nice little collection, don't you think? What do you think? Like, it's beautiful, isn't it? Such a lovely collection. Yeah. And was it the David Williams or the Tom Fletcher one that we have? We like the look of both. Okay, let's have a look. Tom Fletcher got out the Christosaurus a few years ago. This was quite good. Well, bless my crinkles, Santa said. The tear in his eye, it's a baby dinosaur. So it's crinkles. Hmm. Good writing, size, some pictures throughout. It's a really good book. My son read it and he liked it. Yeah, so that's not awful at the moment. It's got that one. And then the David Williams book, some of his newer ones. So. Code name Bananas. I love a good hardback book. So, let's have a look, shall we? London, 1940. As bombs rain down on the city, little Eric forms an extraordinary friendship with a huge gorilla, Gertrude. But when the zoo becomes dangerous, Eric must go on an adventure to rescue Gertrude and save the day. <sighs> Illustrated by Tony Ross and wrote by David Williams. It's a good size book, isn't it? What good size writing. Got some illustrations throughout. It looks quite a good book. Hmm. Very interesting. So there we go. What would you like to do? Okay, so you'd like the Beatrice Potter. by Tom Fletcher. Okay. In your Christmas presents then. Don't blame me. Okay. okay. You paying by card? Okay, if you 
you mind checking the amount and entering your pin? I'll just take that from you. Okay, take your card. Perfect, thank you so much. Let's get your receipt. Excellent, that's gone. I just need to jot that down as well. So the Tricks Potter collection and the Tom Fletcher Christmas Soros. Wonderful. Well, please let me know how you get on. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so perfect. That's all done. Let me just stamp that one. Right, my love. Is there anything else I can do for you? Okay. Yeah. Totally. That's not a problem at all. We can do photocopying here. Yeah, there's internet access over there as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfectly fine if you need anything scanning in or laminating or printing or anything like that. Please come through with the items. There is a charge on each thing. Let me just check for you. I'm not too sure what the prices are off my head. Okay, so we charge 20 pence for printing in black and white, and that's per page, and it's 30 pence for colour. Okay, laminating is £1.50 per sheet. And where are we? Scanning in is 15 pence. Would you like me to write those down for you? Okay. So printing. Oh, I know it's very windy today. Yeah, very. You be careful out there when you go out. Yeah, it's got really autumn, hasn't it? And faxing, did you say? is 30 pence okay, internet use is a pound an hour okay good um, so we've got your printing colour black and white we have faxing we have internet use we have scanning and we have laminating. Is there anything else that you would like to know? Okay, that is perfectly fine. So that is for you as well. Perfect. Wonderful. 
close that down. Right, my love. It's a pleasure to meet you. And if you do need anything at all, you can give me a ring or come in and see me. All right. So don't forget the book club is on Thursday. All right. And you can have your free session or another week. It's totally up to you if you choose to. And two weeks from today, your books need to be returned. But like I say, you can ask for an extension. All right. And please keep the receipt for your books that you have bought, please. Yes, just to be on the safe side. Okay, yeah. But with the books, we don't offer refunds, but we can exchange for a different book if you wish. Okay, good. You're very welcome, my lovely. You take care now. Bye-bye.